So welcome everybody to another Auditing Auditors. Today we have a bit of a different kind of show because today we're taking a look at creators who while they aren't auditing channels, they do create videos that could be considered audits. So the first channel we'll be looking at today is someone who is very, very popular right now. He's actually gone, gone viral, but he definitely wouldn't consider himself to be an auditor. So this person, of course, is Brendan Kavanagh, the boogie woogie piano man. <laughs> and, and so I didn't know about this guy until recently. And obviously because of the sensation that's happened this week where he was told not to film by these uh, group of Chinese tourists and then harassed by the police to turn off his live stream and delete the video. Obviously that drew my attention to it because you know, that's the bread and butter of auditing. Someone telling you not to film and then the police siding with the people that have told you not to film. So, you know, that's classic auditing, but I guess he wouldn't consider himself to be an auditor. I'm sure you've heard about this story before. I'm sure you've heard you've heard about what, what happened in the, the events at St Pancras Station. I even made a video about it myself, which you can go and watch. I think it was the last video I uploaded. So in history, just go to the one above, one below or one above, I don't know which way, uh, and you'll be able to find it. It's all about that. I go in, I'll go into the details and we even talk about the meet, the interview with Piers Morgan as well. So it's a very in-depth video. But it, this isn't the first time that Dr. K has caused a nuisance by filming in public. And it's actually something that happens quite frequently on his channel and on his live streams. So much so, I'd probably consider him to be an honorary Pinnock auditor. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's accurate? Would you say he's a, a Pinnock auditor? Because he certainly has all the characteristics of a Pinnock auditor. And let me just show you now what I mean by that. So, his channel is basically, he goes out to public areas, puts a camera on him, and films himself playing music. And as you can see, a lot of different people um, get involved in his videos. People come up and play. Sometimes the police play as well. So it's interactions with the police, interactions with the public, interactions with everybody. And people appreciate his music. So obviously some of his videos are just nice in real life live streams where he plays music. So this is a time when Brendan was playing in public and the police came over and he's got the perfect song when police arrive and start saying stuff to him. <laughs> Brilliant. Isn't that great? That would be just amazing. I wish I could play piano, an instrument like that, so you can just randomly play any way you wanted to. But sometimes security does get quite aggressive with him. And on this occasion, they don't succeed, but they do try and get him to stop playing. I'm surrounded by security. I think I'm in trouble. Carry on. Carry on. I love that the old women are like, carry on, carry on, carry on. So yeah, so basically this happens all the time to him. People come up to him, tell him that you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be filming. Can you not film me? And then sometimes the police get involved as well. So it is very similar to an auditor, but I wouldn't say that he is an auditor. He makes videos that could be considered audits. So our second channel to look at today is Catwoman2005 who was suggested to me as the first female auditor by many people in my last Auditing Auditors video. Now it's here we get into the criteria I have for including auditors in the Auditing Auditors series. So first of all, I have to enjoy the channel. I have to actually like watching the videos. Like I'm not going to audit someone that I don't like. Like my videos are supposed to be positive and supporting people. And if I do a video on someone I don't like, then what's what's the point? What's the point of that? No one's going to enjoy it. I'm not going to enjoy it. There's no point. So the second rule that I have is that they must have at least 10 videos on their channel. So if they're a new channel, I will audit I will audit their channel. I will talk about them. I will promote them on my channel and and I'll talk about their their audits as well and maybe give suggestions about what they could do to get their videos out there. They don't necessarily have to have a minimum subscriber amount. 
they just have to have 10 videos on their channel thirdly the channel must primarily be an auditing channel so it needs to be making audits as its main focus if other content is present in the video that's or in the videos that's fine but it must be related to auditing or filming in public places so that that's another rule that i've got for auditing auditors uh the fourth rule that i have is the auditor must follow the auditing code of conduct which has been agreed by auditors all over the world and that is you're not aggressive you don't go into something seeking aggression and it's obvious when you see people that are like that so so that's another thing as well i don't want to feature someone who's obviously being aggressive obviously kind of flouting their rights a little bit too much like it's it's all well and good to promote our rights it's another thing to flout them so that's an that's my fourth rule and finally no personal videos no videos that contain personal information and no videos that are not related to auditing or photography is not a crime uh, so those are the rules so as you can see i do actually plan my videos regardless of what the trolls say like i do actually care about my content uh, believe it or not so with that being said let's take a look at catwoman 2005 so this channel is possibly the oldest youtube channel that i've ever featured on here uh, until later because we've got an even older one coming up in a, in a little bit so this channel was actually created in 2009 and it was clearly created as a family vlogging channel i mean you can see the first video is her daughter opening jls tickets and then the next one is her at a jls concert and all that kind of stuff it carried on this way as a family vlogging channel all the way literally you can scroll through here all the way up until two 2020 or 2020 if you want to say it like that uh which i mean obviously you can see here it's a, it's a wonderful channel she's post posting videos she's getting decent views on some of them as well and then here you can see things take a turn for cat right so this is cat's first ever audit video and she doesn't actually call it an audit in this video she calls it a vlog uh, but she is carrying out an audit in the video uh, and this was in october of 2020 so so you know a lot had happened in that year and i think potentially she was inspired to become an auditor for the events of 2020 so i'd like to speak to her actually so if, kat if you're listening and you want to come on the show i'd love to get you on here i'd love to interview you and find out you know what what make, made you move make this move into auditing but let's let's take a little look at this audit hi guys and welcome back to my channel it has been quite a while since i last uploaded i haven't uploaded it on this channel in quite some time and yeah <laughs> sorry about that but um however i am going to be taking my channel now in a new direction I'm, i want to try and start doing something new um which i'm not gonna go into too much detail about now for a few main reasons one um i'm pretty pretty nervous about doing it i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty scared about how this is going to turn out some some of you may not like it some of you may not agree with it so for that i'm gonna obviously see how it goes and again the other reason is i need to sort of get my bearings back when it comes to vlogging build my confidence back up because it has been a while so yeah so i'm just uh, um i'm going to talk about it and discuss it as i go along as and when i do it and you can sort of start st establish for yourselves what it is what it what it's about i'm very passionate about it it's something i've been wanting to do for a while but not really had the guts i still haven't so i'm um, like i said because of that i still don't really fully know how it's gonna go but this is very inspiring i have to say and it's great when people do this they take a, a leap of faith and go you know what i've always yeah, enjoyed so this like and i care about this topic so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go for it so 
is actually a very inspiring story. Like I say, let's see how this new venture on my channel goes. Um, anything else I can say, say to you guys? Rebecca is doing absolutely amazing. She is growing up so fast. She's now got her own YouTube channel, which she's going to hate me for saying this. I actually forgot what a YouTube channel name actually is. So there she is talking about her daughter in, in, the, in the video. Another reason why one of the rules was that you don't don't talk about personal things in videos, and she she does talk about her own life in here, which which I think makes this a vlog, and I think possibly people would agree with me there. But yeah, she's doing amazing. She's growing up so fast. She's 15 now. She's got her own little Saturday morning job. She's preparing herself for college, which is super scurvy it makes me feel so old but yeah she's an amazing amazing young woman basically um obviously she's not here with me today she's at school um i don't know if she is going to be joining me on any future vlogs which she probably will do but just not yet like, as i say again l let me find my own bearings again and then she'll probably maybe somewhere along the line join me for a few of these vlogs i'm not sure so at the minute i am currently in manchester city center now i've been to manchester quite a few times i've done a quite a few vlogs in the past in manchester i'm currently in manchester victoria train station we had one in my hometown but now we don't uh, why am I not allowed? It's a private property, that's Is it? But I'm, I'm showing the fantastic Oindale centre off. Right, are you filming? I'm not at all. Are you not? Yeah, but you do. Well, you're not listening. It, I know, because it's public. It's public. Well, I'm going to carry on, OK? Thank you. <laughs> so, quiz. Sorry about that, guys, being rudely interrupted. Curry's world. Yeah, as I was saying, if I was really interrupted, H&V is my favourite shop of all time. I don't currently have one in my hometown now, but... His Ma Majesty's Voice, I think H&V stands for, so very interesting shop. Um, but yeah, so this is another case of a vlogger who's making an audit. It's a very good audit, I will have to say, but I wouldn't consider Kat to be an auditor. And I think the main thing that makes me say this, and the main thing, main reason why I don't, I wouldn't call Cat an auditor, is the fact that she shows her face, and she also talks about like personal stuff. She talks about her own life and her family, and and that's just not what auditors are known for, with the exception of like PJ audits. Every other auditor likes to, well, would prefer to hide their identity. And so they use the term auditor. They call themselves auditors because it's a way to identify themselves. And the only other way that I hear auditors identify themselves is by saying their YouTube channel name, which is usually audits, something audits. Um, so I wouldn't say that Kat is an auditor, but I would say she makes fantastic audits. So if you are a fan of this kind of content, then definitely go and subscribe to Catwoman2005 because she really does make great videos. And I, for one, can't wait to see what she makes in 2024. I would just recommend that she make another channel that is for auditing and then one for her vlogging channel. She's doing very well, so de definitely go and follow Catwoman if you do like, like auditing videos. So, next up, we actually have someone who suggested that I look at Catwoman when I made the video before. Um, so, it's quite a good transition, actually. So, thanks to Marty Blagborough for recommending Catwoman to me because it just made this video so much easier to make. So, Marty Blagborough is someone who's been making videos for a long time. I think it's like 10 years he's been making videos. Let's have a little look at his description now. So, I actually think Marty deserves his own video because he does go way back. Like, his, his original videos were him, like, showing police aggression 
and how how people act in public and how police treat uh, just ordinary people just do, going about their everyday lives. But he's also made a lot of videos that could be considered audits in their own own right. Like he's actually made a lot of videos over the years of of this this sort of nature. And he actually reminds me of a channel that I used to follow called Daniel Bostock. I've typed that wrong. But it's this guy. So I, I, I quite like this guy. I followed him for years. And he did a video called Census at My Door, What I Should Have Said. And it's actually for filming in public. So he also is, was making videos all those years ago. But... Marty Blagborough actually could be considered one of the first auditors in the whole world. And I think he was potentially the first one in the UK, at least. Um, so, basically, I will do another video about Marty. But similar to other channels in, that I'm featuring in this video, I would say that his channel is more than just auditing. And to call it an audit channel would actually be an insult to all of his hard work that he's put in over the years of content creation. But he was the first person to to do an audit on YouTube. So fair play to him for that. We've got to give him a round of applause for that. So finally, we come to a channel and a character I have known and followed for a long, long time. Like literally since 2010, when he and some of his friends occupied a underground train carriage in London and called it the Happy Carriage. So I'm talking, of course, about Charlie Veach. And this name has been commented more than anyone else's name in my comments. It is, it is absolutely crazy. So Charlie Veach is a former investment banker. He turned into an activist and he rose to alternative fame in 2010. So as a rebel myself, I'm a bit of a rebel. You know, I live in the rebel city now, so I'm definitely a rebel now. Uh, but as a rebel, I was watching a lot of videos like, like this, a lot of videos where it was like activists going out there and saying, you know, we're being lied to, you know, wake up, wake up to the system that just screws us every single day. Um, and that's what Charlie Veach was famous for. And he actually, I actually came across him for the first time because of the love police which was a kind of series that he did, a series of videos that he made with Danny Shine, who Charlie is no longer affiliated with. And he actually posted a video about that uh, a few years ago, saying about why he's not affiliated with Danny anymore. So uh, definitely go and check that out. Um, but so, so basically, I watched him for a few years. I mean, you can see here his oldest video. I mean, this is what I was saying about probably the, the longest channel. I think his channel was created in 2006. <laughs> well, that's mad. He might be one of the first UK creators. Like, it's it's insane. So, yeah, so he was posting 17 years ago, and it was about police arresting a postman. So he's always been a person that speaks out for the little guy, and he does go around and promote freedom to people on the street. So if he sees someone being arrested... He'll, he'll go there and make sure that, that the police are being respectful and not using their authority to be abusive to people. And I think it's great. So he then did the love police. So he went around and like hugging policemen and stuff like that. It was, you know, it was a nice time these those days. It was the times of Occupy and things like that. And he was one of the people going out with a megaphone and kind of just talking about the mainstream media and how they lie and how they obfuscate every every detail. And it's all about profit and war. And as someone who was a former investment banker, he could speak on that. So for years, he posted this. Well, for about three years, he posted this way. And then in 2013, he was taken by the BBC on a conspiracy road trip, which changed his life forever <laughs> I, I just said that to be dramatic but it did change his life seriously but he and other 9-11 truthers uh, were taken to New York to ground zero where 9-11 happened and after this trip Charlie came out and said that 
he no longer believed the 9-11 conspiracy theory and he believed the official story of 9-11 and here is that story now from 2013 September of 2013 when Charlie's life changed forever and so what happened after this Charlie got abused abuse from everyone from everyone literally 9-11 truthers were abusing him uh muslims were abusing him because he he was saying that he believed that muslims carried out the attack so he's getting getting abuse from the islamic community um he's getting abuse from from all sides and it, they, he was getting death threats and threats of violence and different things from a lot of different people so he was obviously changed quite a lot by when that happened and he he didn't post as much as he did before and when he did i would say that it wasn't as enthusiastic as it was before that um so what happened was a lot of people stopped stopped watching him stopped following him i know i know i just kind of I moved on in my life, you know, I got a job, I did a master's degree, I uh, went, went, I got married, I had a kid, all these stuff happened, and then in 2020, the pandemic happened, and a lot of stuff happened in 2020, as we all know, a lot of auditors were created in 2020, because of this, and a lot of stuff was happening behind the scenes, and a lot of stuff was happening while people were in lockdown, and I think auditing became popular at that time, and people who filmed on the street, their content became very important. So Charlie saw a resurgence in his channel and he started getting more and more into it. And now he's probably inspired more auditors than anyone to get involved in auditing and to get involved in filming in public. But again, I wouldn't say he is an auditor. I would say he is his own thing. He is Charlie Veach. Just like Marty is Marty. Just like Catwoman is Catwoman. Like, they're not auditors. They are their own personality. They are their own character. They don't need a title like auditor to explain to people what they do. Because they're, they're, what they do can't be explained simply by saying, I'm an auditor. So, that is why I wanted to explain all of the, all of these different things. I just wanted to explain it to everyone why I, I, I'm not making auditing videos about these guys, even though this is now an auditing video, I guess. <laughs> Mind blown. It's like like Inception up in here. Um, but yeah, so I do think that these people make incredible videos, but I don't consider them to be auditors, even though they make some amazing audit videos. So thanks for watching this video everyone and don't forget to subscribe and stay chill. So as a little bonus I thought I would discuss a different kind of channel that while their content isn't strictly auditing they do make auditing videos in their own right. And I'm talking of course about exploring channels. And my favourite one to watch of them all is The Secret Vault. So Matt has been making videos for years and years. And when I say years, I mean years. Like even before YouTube, he was making videos and filming his adventures. Like seriously, in his videos, he puts like videos in there of like, so this is 30 years ago when I came here. And it's like, let's compare the footage. I'm like, bloody hell, this guy been making videos for a long time so massive respect to him for that reason but he has made some really fantastic content and some of them can be considered an audit so i thought we'd watch one of his videos so we can see what what kind of videos he makes uh, and this one specifically is in an abandoned police station so while auditors are going around during the day filming police stations and police buildings and prisons and all sorts of locations like that. The explorers are going out at night and exploring abandoned police stations. It is an audit in its own right, I would say. And you can feel free to disagree with me if you want to disagree with me. But this kind of exploring can often lead to dangerous situations and police interactions and also could have some serious legal implications 
Whereas auditing, as we know, is completely legal. So one video I really liked from Secret Vault was when he went to visit Caterham F1. And the reason for this is because I actually worked at Caterham F1. So I know this building. I know what it looked like when it was in operation. So it was really interesting to see this building when it's abandoned, when no one's no one's there, no one's you know working there anymore. Very, very interesting. Uh, so he basically takes you around this whole place. And I don't think he gets any problems with police in this place. But he does recognise that there are alarms going off and people are potentially coming as well and the other thing that he does which is linked to to uh auditors is that he has drone shots in his videos so not only does he do an audit of the ground he does an audit of the sky so so although explorers definitely wouldn't consider themselves to be auditors i would personally say they do make audit videos so I honestly wish I had the courage to do all of the things that these people do in the videos. And I am in no way dismissing the hard work that they do by saying that they're not auditors. If they want to call themselves auditors, that's well within their right to do so. But I do applaud all of your amazing work and I encourage you to separate your content. Make a different channel. Come on, don't, don't put it on your same channel. So thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.